What's going on movie fans? My name is Michael Weir and I like to talk about movies. In this video we are going to talk about all of the new releases that I had a chance to see in April of 2023 and rank them from worst to best. Now if you've seen any of these movies I would love to know what your thoughts are on them so you should put that in the comment section down below or if you've seen enough so that you have a ranked list as well put that in the comment section let's see how my ranked list stacks up against yours. Now if you want full thoughts and full opinions on any of these movies that I'm about to talk about well you can check out the individual reviews I did for these in the month of April you can find those in my 2023 movie playlist. And finally, if this is the first time you've found my movie channel, you should definitely check out all the videos that I have on here because I have a ton of content, whether it's movie reviews, Blu-ray updates, I have just all kinds of stuff. I even did a movie theater walkthrough because I built a movie theater in my basement. You should check that out, although I need to update it soon because the whole layout has changed. All right, with all that out of the way, let's rank April 2023 from worst to best. <laughs> So there were six movies that came out in April of 2023 that I had a chance to check out. And so ranking them from worst to best, starting at number six, we're going to go with Ghosted, which came out on Apple TV. It stars Chris Evans and Anna de Armas. This movie just didn't work for me. For whatever reason, you put Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, two excellent actors, in my opinion. You put them together in this movie and they just had no chemistry. And the whole movie was built around these two characters having chemistry. They were fighting more in this movie than anything else. And technically they had just met so the idea that oh well maybe they were just having like you know a lover's quarrel it doesn't really make sense because they had one magical night together and then she ghosts him and when he goes and tracks her down in another country it just didn't work for me they, they, they fought throughout the movie they kept oh we're done we're back together we're done we're back together and in the end they're in love I didn't buy it so all of that aside, it went to Apple TV, which is also another issue because I like to see movies for the first time in a theater, if possible. And anytime I feel like a production company stops and says, now nah, we're just going to release it to streaming, I feel like they don't have confidence in it. So that automatically brought it down a peg for me. So with the chemistry of Chris Evans and Anna Darmus not being there in a movie where you really needed that, it just didn't work for me personally. So Ghosted is number six. At number five, guys, we have the first of three horror movies that I had a chance to check out this month, and it is The Pope's exorcist now this movie wasn't necessarily bad but the movie was just a generic exorcism movie there wasn't anything necessarily exciting or different about it you had someone gets possessed nobody believes them it gets worse the church gets involved it gets even worse and they bring in the specialist russell crowe and i mean you could just throw in any other actor from any other exorcist movie because that's usually how this goes now the standout for the movie was russell crowe he was the best part of this movie and if they do continue with this franchise like there have now been talks then i would like to see him move on and continue with this character because his part of this movie was the best part of this movie and there was something kind of cool that the demon did that i hadn't seen in any other exorcist movies so again this movie isn't bad it just follows most of the exorcist tropes if you've seen one you've seen them all now at number four guys we have the movie that i was hoping would be number one this month i really was putting a lot of stock into it and it is the second horror movie that i had a chance to check out and that is evil dead rise this movie to me was a significant step down from the 2013 Evil Dead movie. I had a lot more fun with this, that movie than I did this movie. This movie going into an apartment building just didn't work for me. All of the convenient things that needed to happen in order to get the people cut off from the outside world, like an earthquake hitting LA, and then, oh, it just happens that this is an almost abandoned building. Oh, and one of the people that's still living there has a work truck that has a chainsaw in it. Oh, and that same guy has a shotgun. It was just convenience, convenience, convenience throughout the movie. Movie. That's not to say the entire thing was bad because the mom turning into one of the deadites was definitely the scariest part of this movie and I enjoyed how terrifying she was throughout. But none of the other characters really worked for me in this movie. In fact the only reason I rank this above the Pope's Exorcist is that opening scene but that's actually an opening scene done at a cabin in the woods where I think this franchise should stay so I hope in the future if they make more of these they go back to the roots and do a cabin in the woods style movie because it's just more fun. Also can we not pick up after 2013? Would it have been so hard to keep going with that story that that's by far my favorite in the series let's move on so we've made it to the halfway point of the video and these last three movies were so good that i didn't exactly know how to put them on here so i just put them on like my feelings when i left the theater that's that's what i'm gonna go with on this ranking but all three of these movies are phenomenal and they may very well be on my favorite movies of the year list 
later on at the end of the year. At number three, guys, we have Super Mario Bros. This movie starred Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, and Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. They did phenomenal in their roles, and the storytelling and the visuals on screen were so much fun. My kids had an absolute blast with this movie. I took them to see it twice because they liked it so much, and that Peach's song will be a song that probably plays in my house for the next, well, till there's another song that Jack Black does as Bowser. Let's just be honest. Moving on. At number two, guys, is the third horror movie that I saw this month. And of course, it stars Nicolas Cage as Dracula in the movie Renfield. And the reason I put this so high on my list is that I think Nicolas Cage is fantastic as Dracula. Anytime he's in this movie, it makes the movie better. Any scene with him as Dracula, whether he's Dracula that's getting better or he's full-fledged Dracula, oh my god, Nicolas Cage's Dracula is fantastic. However, Nicholas Holt is the main star of this movie. He's Renfield, which is the title character, and he's fine in the movie, but then they give a big slice of this movie to Aquafina's character and her sister, and this whole side plot about corrupt cops, and I wish they had cut that completely out of the movie and just focused on Nicholas Holt and Nicholas Cage. That would have made this movie number one on the list, but it's not. They focused on that side story, so I put it at two, because Nicholas Cage gives a damn fantastic performance as Dracula, and the rest of the movie is just okay. At number one, guys, is a movie that stars Ben Affleck. It stars Matt Damon. It stars Viola Davis, and it also has Jason Bateman on top of all of that, and the movie is air. This movie left me leaving the theater with a smile on my face. I had such an enjoyable time with this movie. I can't wait for this thing to come out on physical media so I can go watch it again. This movie was everything that I wanted out of a non-action drama movie. This is the kind of movie where I'm like, yeah, this will get nominated for an Oscar. But watch, it released in April, so come Oscar season, they'll be like, air? Well, what was that? This movie was really fun. I had a very enjoyable time with it. I recommend it to all of you to check out Air. If it's still in theaters by you, you should check it out in theaters. Otherwise, watch this on VOD, watch it on Blu-ray when it comes out. This movie, it just puts a smile on your face. And that's my ranking for April of 2023. I'll run it down for you guys real quick. We had Ghosted at number six. We had The Pope's Exorcist at number five. We had Evil Dead Rise at number four. At number three, I had the Mario Bros movie. At number two, Renfield with a spectacular performance performance from Nicolas Cage and at number one air the most feel-good movie I've seen in a long time if you enjoyed this list guys don't forget to check out other videos I've made on this channel I've ranked all the previous months so far this year and if you want to see full reviews like I said before you can also check all of those out thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Well, we made it through the ranked list. I'm excited for May. Uh, May's got Fast and Furious 10, or as it's known, Fast X. I think I've reviewed a few of those before, but I've not reviewed the whole series. Maybe once Fast 11 or Fast 10 Part 2, whatever they're going to call it, Fast XX. Whenever that comes out, maybe I'll review all of them. But until that time, guys, if you liked this video, you can check right there for all of my other ranked videos so far this year, or you can check right there for all of my 2023 reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.